One of the most legendary jazz musicians and band leaders to emerge from the 1920s was Duke Ellington. Why did Duke Ellington become so famous? How is he remembered today? Duke Ellington was born on April 29, 1899, with the given name of Edward Kennedy Ellington. His friends called him Duke because his suave manner and sophisticated style of dressing reminded them of nobility. As a boy, his mother enrolled him in piano lessons, although he was more interested in playing baseball. As he became a teenager, he started taking his musical training more seriously. He wrote his first piece of music, Soda Fountain Rag, at the age of 15. He started observing and mimicking other talented piano players and continued to learn more about reading music and writing musical compositions. Ellington made a decision as a young man that would change his life forever. He left his home in Washington, D.C. and moved to Harlem in New York City. There, he would become a part of what would eventually be known as the Harlem Renaissance. This was a period of time in which many talented African-American entertainers, writers, and artists were performing and working in the Harlem area. Throughout the 1920s, Ellington continued to perfect his craft, and he gained a reputation for his talent and abilities. In 1927, he was offered a unique opportunity. He and his 11-piece band became the house band at the famous Cotton Club. Wealthy white audiences flocked into the club each night to hear Ellington and his band perform. The stage shows featured not only Ellington's music, much of which he wrote himself, but also included dance numbers, comedy, and other types of entertainment. Most importantly though, the Cotton Club had a weekly radio broadcast. Ellington was heard by audiences across the nation. This allowed his music to be appreciated by not only the high-priced clientele of the Cotton Club, but the average person as well. Ellington charmed audiences both in person and on the air with his wit and elegant style. As the 1920s progressed into the 1930s, Ellington and his band only became more and more popular. He remained one of the most popular figures in music for years, producing classics such as I Got It Bad, Mood Indigo, and of course, It Don't Mean a Thing If It Ain't Got That Swing. Ellington earned an impressive 12 Grammy Awards and has received numerous other honors. In 2002, he was named one of the 100 greatest African Americans, and in 2009, his image was placed on a quarter representing the District of Columbia.